Hey y'all, it's Trey Dark Divers. So, just releasing this fully unedited besides the very beginning. So I wanted to start off by saying this is footage from when we found David Wayne Foster, Brothers on Water Recovery, and myself, Trey Dark Divers. Um, that being said, I have the utmost respect for police, law enforcement, the O'Fallon Police Department, the Swansea Police Department, the Swansea Dive Team, all the guys that were there that day, everyone involved have the utmost respect for those guys because without them we wouldn't even be able to have permission to do this but i know things can be taken out of context you know dark humor light humor however you want to see it or say it but you know you gotta understand these guys get calls all the time about reports and things happening so they have to do the due diligence to make sure that you know we are who we are and you know nothing is being portrayed in a weird way so like you understand they they have things reported to them all the time that end up being nothing so thank you all very much and this is just a little honestly for myself and then just full transparency for y'all so love y'all <laughs> This is no, this is a private company. How long has this person been? I don't know. Since January 13th. Oh boy. So it's recent. Um, this is him. I don't know. Is that, is that the car that's in the that's water? The, I'm not sure if that's the car that's in the water, but it kind of sure looks like. What's this guy's name? Uh, David Wayne Foster. So what's how how did you guys get a tip to check over here? Okay, so. He was supposed to have left work, went home, left home to come here to pick his mother up or his grandmother or something. We're talking to the daughter, which is Ashley Foster of David. And she said that he was supposed to come here and pick his mother up. I'll tell you where I think it went. So have you been in contact with the Swansea Police? Yes. I just got done talking with him a little while ago. Um, he gave us the guy's street. Are they coming out here? Uh, the detective already went home. They said to get a hold of these guys. If you look at that, that's not it. Can you give me a little bit? Give me like a crankbait or something. I can probably feel it. We have magnets. We're divers, so we can dive this pond if you guys give us permission. But it's, of course, a private pond, so there's no swimming. If we got a person in it, it would be an exigency. Thanks. Yeah, right here. So, you can hold it, Swanson. And. What kind of image did you have where you think there's a car? Um, it looks like a front windshield, back windshield, kind of like a grayish tan top and a trunk and hood. So you're saying that's the car? Where are we? Uh, not where that buoy is. It's more this way, probably midway. Old Fallon. So if you look that over here. Yeah, Old Fallon. You would have to assume it didn't get far. <laughs> I mean. Look right here, you got a chip. Oh yeah. yeah, I mean that's so that's par. You got tire tracks all along here. Yeah. We was here earlier this morning and we looked at it. We didn't fly the drone or nothing, and we was like, ah, there ain't no way. That's old, you know, and blah blah. So we left and we went on doing our other things, other searching, and then we come back here. He put the drone. He's got the drone footage. Put it up, and you can clearly see it in the water. All right, let's get a hold of Swansea and see if they have. He's on the phone. With so, are you guys? Would you guys be the? So, would you two be the two that have the capabilities to actually dive it? Out? Yeah, we got dry suits, gear, and everything. But did you get solicited out by the family no. or by the? We do it all. Detectives or? We do it completely on our own. No. Don't Couple charge nobody. Nothing. Yeah, see the. Nope, I moved the drone. 
we we get uh, donations from our YouTube channel. You see the water line and everything. Okay. And that's you see that line. Okay. It's 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 okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. From my angle, I can see it. It's right there. Okay. Just the shade. Right. The shade of it, and you kind of. I want to say windows because the the color of the water actual is basically the same, and you can see like just like a white outline. Well, I mean, it looks like a vehicle. And then we checked both buoys with the drone. Usually we use side imaging in a boat, and we can tell you 100% if it was a car before we even get in the water. But with the the drone, it's a little bit different just because it's not, it doesn't have those capabilities. Okay. But there's a concrete block, like a, almost like a yeah, ramp over there. there. In that corner. And it looks totally different than this. And we searched around both buoys just to make okay. sure there was nothing identical okay. or something okay. on, the, on the other buoy. So let me walk back here. Do you guys have all the equipment to go out there with you? Yeah, we have everything in the trailer. And we have a volunteer that they're in they're in possession of a drone. They're using a drone to look for this David Foster. They believe they've located this vehicle. Do you have, what's your guys' names? My name's Peter, I got my driver's license. Yeah, can you grab me both of your driver's license real quick and then we'll, uh, we're gonna come up with a plan. I'm looking at the drone footage, if what there, if it's, um, it looks like the silhouette of a sedan, and if that is indeed a vehicle, it's probably, oh, it's probably seven or eight feet underwater. These are some tire tracks right here. I, I, I can't say that for sure. But. <laughs> I think if this was a car, all this would be matted down. That's it wouldn't, it wouldn't grow back. I kept, we kept saying that all the grass would be gone and it would have been like. Yes, that sounds good. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll give you my cell phone number and I'll come out here and ask you. 814 Hey, you have an ID real quick? You got your ID real quick, sir? Yeah, Regency Park Drive. We're in the, we're in the I, um... <laughs> and this is your guys' company. You're both from Naked Divers? No, <laughs> Naked Divers. Narc. <laughs> it's Narc, Narc Divers. Narc. Yeah, it's <laughs> I was like, boy, I... I I'm brothers just, underwater I recovery. <laughs> we don't need you guys here. <laughs> So, how he got narked is, I don't know if you know care. anything I about I don't care how the name is. Like, not narked questions. It's not naked, it's not narked. It's a stupid diving thing. I'll have to wait to pick up now. It's retarded. <laughs> Give me your phone. person's name? Uh, David Wayne Foster is the one that we're looking for. What's his birthday? It's not on here. I don't know. Uh, he's age 50 years old. Yeah, we got an 
Thank you, Vince. Circumstance. Yeah, take it out. Tell us what it is, and then we'll go from there. Go from there. Yeah. Exactly. I, can, yeah. so, uh, I don't really think it looks like an arcade trick. If you ask me, but I say well, don't take it out. Go down there. There's some broken rocks that are actually So you'd be better off diving it, not sonaring it. This is uh, the Aqua Adventurer from Northern Ireland. He's coming over the 6th of uh, March to help us. So uh, we're going to have like eight people, eight YouTubers out doing this. For this case? You have no, no, no. We got like 60 cases. Oh, so you guys, you got yeah. work pending. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah we go to Missouri, uh, Kentucky. You say you got a boat? or he's gonna Yeah, he's, he's got an air up boat in the trailer. With all of our dive gear and all that stuff, and then I've got a. Uh, so, when boat Swan, at home. so when Swansea calls back, what, what do you propose to do? I would, uh, I would like to dive, dive on it and see what it is. Make sure it is. Get a license plate off of it. And then we can go from there. Right. If y'all want to leave it in there for the fish and there ain't no bodies in it, then whatever. But right. there's somebody in it, or. That's it. Easiest way is that everyone dive it, dive it. You know? Yeah. And. Go from there. If it turns out to be something, we'll roll from there. If not, pull it out. And we'll, we'll see what St. East wants to do if there's right. something in there. <laughs> now we're getting my jacket on. It's cold out what here. If, what's the odds that that's just a shallow spot? Zero to none. I mean, the shade. I mean, you see the outline. You see, like, man made stuff is straight, right? If it was like. <clears throat> I don't know. This is a concrete block. I mean, there's, there's a we, need get, we need to get some sponsored by like a hummingbird or yeah, yeah. Rants. I've got a about a seven thousand dollar hummingbird sitting in the back of his truck. And then we're good. Side imaging. Yep. There we Side go. down live. and live. I can tell you if there's a minnow sitting on top of that damn car. <laughs> like if, if I was in the water and he had a live imaging, you can see me. Yeah, like moving right over there. While he's diving, I can watch him. I, said, he's I, I have no problem. If you want to dive it, I yeah. I just want to make sure everything was kosher. Yeah, because like, it's like private property, all that. Well, it's like I said, if you need their permission, I'll go in there and ask right. them if you know if they have a problem with it. But uh, I don't see them. I wouldn't think so. If there's no, we got in it. we got exigent circumstances. Yeah. Yeah, I mean uh, it's. I'm letting you die, man. You got that footage up again? Yeah. Whatever it waits. Something new for you guys? Um, yeah. For these guys, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's an outline of something. Yeah. You can you can almost see like a window. Because it gets the water changes colors again. You can see the window here, yeah. and then you can see the window there. You're, you're saying that's the front and back windshield? Yeah. Listen, if they want to dive it, I'd let them dive it. I'll go let security know that they're diving it, and then we'll go from there. All right, right. get suited up. Yep. So, it turns out to be a vehicle, just don't do it. Yeah. Do you want us to pull the license plate? Yeah. Yeah. No, just, you, you, could, you, you can, can, can see, see the license plate. plate. See the license plate? Yeah. And just leave it. Yep. You can look at it and let us know, and you know, we'll go from a game plan from there. But I'll let security know what they're doing. And, yeah. No, they didn't expect you to do this. No. <laughs> See, but this is why I was. Well, what this is what you miss this guy. Like, this, this is the stuff that was not like the film for like the film. You know, I'll, uh, I'll run these. I'll run these guys, make sure they're not wanting to freaking all this fraud. They're like, they're like, one for like.
Can you run 2729s on the two names I attached to the call? Because we'll try to locate the missing person whose name I put in the notes. Ten four, you want his vehicle registration in there also? If you can find it, just confirm that he's missing out of Swansea. And then just give me 2729s on those names. He is. One was out of Carbondale, one was out of a place I've never heard of, so they came they came some way for this. One was there not one was there not wanting <laughs> stealing things out of the cars. Yeah, they got some like missing person flyer, which I don't know where they got it. From. Yeah, it's, it's got a picture it of the it car on it. At all. it. The missing person flyer looks like it's like a family made. It's like something it, the family made. Yeah, it looks yeah. like. Do you think the family fucking? Baby no, these people are all—they're all volunteers, and they're completely funded off their YouTube traffic. <laughs> that's what—that's why I was laughing when I walked it's up. Very here. strange. Yeah, it's very strange. So it's, the Swansea sergeant said that he had to call the chief. So that's what we're waiting on. Why? What? Don't do what? I, I don't know. <laughs> the, the, See if they want to... The, super, the shift supervisor who I... I'm guessing they connected me to their version of the sergeant's phone. Yeah. And the guy was like, I don't... He's like, I'm going to he's, I'm gonna have to get a hold of the chief and call you back, so... I mean, we don't know it's their car yet, so there's no reason for them to stop yet. Yeah. Well, see, if these guys go down there and find out it's the right car, then okay.
You walk down the water edge. I'm guessing the car that they had in that picture is probably not tall enough to get down these rocks. Well, they said they had it all too. They, they had it, but it'd be quick enough to freak it just jump in the water. I mean, I'm down with that. Hey, these guys are going off, running off these here, Sergeant. That's a good point. Gotta see you if you want to be in there, I guess. Yeah, I can't on the camera. Oh, see the rock is broken right there? <laughs> What'd you say? Did you know the dollar bill has some markings on it from the Freemasons? Uh, Is that what he's saying? The rock's broken? No, this one down here. See the white one? Where everything else is green? That's a pretty impressive uh, draft wear. Yeah. <laughs> I said these guys are all volunteers. <laughs> they said, "All right, carry on." <laughs> they were they were worried about. They they're straight, it's volunteer until we they find until we find a body. Yeah. Yeah. Well, just leave it until then. It becomes until next heart. Just leave. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. So they, they said that if, they, if it's a car, they said they have a they have I guess their yeah, version of a Swansea dive team. They have a. They'll follow. So they'll all work together. Got, uh, they, yeah. Yeah. I mean, do you see any like rubber? Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you look at the you can kind of see. I'm not a conspiracy theorist very often. I don't believe it until until they show me a license plate. I don't believe it. Huh? I'm still under the impression that there's something out there that they're wanting to get their hands on. Yeah, that's my thought process. We found a treasure box, boys. They're picking treasure. Bring an ass treasure. We want a rescue. It took them about two days to find my cousin. Oh shit. Yeah, well, I got home. And he got home. And uh, when they found him about 30 feet from him, they found his other body. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, a little hot twist. You don't even solve this missing person case. And did we find so so another one? Yeah. yeah. Or just stolen car or something like that? That's yeah. not. I'm cold. Man, you fucking bust your <laughs> ass. <laughs> did they throw that buoy out there? Or is that. No. That's trash. Motor mark cups. Yeah. Those are actual fountains. 
So Tim said there's uh, wires and lines running to those. <laughs> he's probably worried about the damage. Let me know if there's any damage. To them. No, yeah. he, he goes, oh, let me know what they find. Uh, Tell them to be careful of the, the wires and the cables. They're looking at me like, because I didn't leave shift change, so they were looking at me like, are they going to go out there? I'm like, yeah, eventually. I'm like, this isn't a rescue, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> this car's been out here. Maybe I don't know how to throw it. Plane submerged. Yeah. yeah. We got a 737 submerged, yeah, don't they? Yeah. Uh, what was that uh, movie it come off of? The U.S. Marshals. U.S. Yeah. Marshals. That's the only place in the country they have a 737 submerged <laughs> that you can swim. This is one of the few things that I'm asking. Like, I, I like, I'm on St. Clair's Special Emergency Services team for Hazmat and all that shit, but I never dove. And I want to, that's one thing I should dive into. I like high angle awesome. shit. I like. Yeah, don't. <laughs> One of our guys from our Fallon search and rescue team kept trying to recruit one. I just oh, you start think. doing it, you'll make time. Uh, for that's it. What, that's what he said. Once you, get, once you start getting in the water, you'll your level. Just snorkeled in Cancun this last week. I'm like, all right, well, I can. <laughs> Are you a good enough swimmer? Oh, yeah. I don't think I am. <laughs> well, to start off, you got to swim, I think it was 400 meters. Yeah, I'm going to tread. And then tread for uh, 15 minutes. Tread water for 15 minutes. I think you'll dive uh, 30 feet, 35 feet. Your yeah, first, uh, kind of shallow. Yeah. What is the first four dives, and then your last two dives to get certified, you'll go to 60 feet. Just to teach you not to come up too fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You come out with your tongue hanging out, yeah. throwing at the mouth, all that good stuff. Whoops. <laughs> too quick. Yep. Yeah. Over that? Over oh, this? Yeah. No. Well, apparently, I'm going to keep you very dry. 
Oh yeah, that's rubber all inside uh, and cloth on the outside. Gotcha. Okay. I didn't know. Pop that up like that and pull that one down. I like this suit. Well, you fucking have it if you want it. I hate it. Oh, yeah, I would. It's too big for me. Where's that stupid one that Jacob got me? chest pains, history of heart problems, and he could drive himself to St. E's. So what if he had a heart attack and just put it on the accelerator? And he's not done it on top of that. <laughs> so what, did he tell that to somebody? Is that where that no, information exactly. came from? Whoever reported him missing, I'm sure. Well, that's what he said. They, he, yeah. they told him he was having chest pains and going to St. E's. the alarm bells quite I, yet. I just don't see the path it would have taken with uh, the brush. Yeah, but would, would the brush have, would the brush have like come back to normal I in a month? I don't know. Brad's our resident diver. He I says think, something. I think if you look at the tire tracks, it leads right into where that big old freaking electric box is. So it doesn't even make sense. Right. Because that electric, well, that electric that, box though. is like right freaking in between the somebody, tire tracks. Somebody would have, somebody somewhere would have seen like an employee or a patient. I mean, that, that, that's got to be loud. That's got to be loud as shit. And that's a boom, boom, and then all, you know. And then even driving by, you'd see it. And it's not going to sink for a little while, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but it's kind of, it's kind of a little, kind of, interesting that this was his last this was his last destination and he said he was having chest pains and 
If I would, if I'd see more, <laughs> that guy tried to say that there was a tire mark on this curve, and you're like, uh, this whole thing is tire mark. It's a freaking curve. Yeah. You ever seen a curve that didn't have a tire mark? <laughs> So since they've been to this hospital, these curbs are gonna have damn tire marks. Tires. Yeah, he's trying to say it. He's trying to say it. they pick this up though because like yeah. who would think like it would be like a, okay it's a missing person but what who would think that it ended up in water because like that's what they're specialized in. right yeah they're specialized is in water. it's like how, what are the odds that these guys like picked this up thinking that it ended up in water, water yeah yeah there's no indication that water was involved from the report This is infamous tire track. Where was it? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe we didn't go down far enough. Well, it was right by that. I think they're treasure hunters. Their clues have led them to the buried treasure down there. The chief? No, I talked to the, the sergeant. It was the first thing they put in charge of it. So. He was like the patrol supervisor, and he was like, he was like, you know, whatever. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's I mean, I guess it's possible. I mean, I mean it's definitely possible. Oh, is this Swansea? <laughs> if Chad was out here, he'd already be in the water. With that, oh, with that, uh, that guy that ran from him, man, he, he, was, he, won, that, he won that drone like. Uh, you know, home, I remember I was doing something when he sent that text. Did he think he figured out where the guy was hiding? No, he just he, he just found found out that the person had been like the girlfriend that lives there. Or but he uh, no, he was he was at it. Like, oh, I want to get out of the drone. I was like, nope, I'm not gonna get a drone. I'm not gonna call the fire department. You are you. I was like, you are not gonna get a drone because this guy went into a house. Like I guarantee you. That assumption the whole time. I'm not gonna get a drone because you can't catch them on. So there are two fountains out there. They're not they're not activated at this point. But there are two fountains out there, and there's also like two control boxes out there. So maybe it's one of those boxes. Yeah. So no, they're getting they're getting. Um, so 
this person came to, came to the hospital for chest pains? Yeah, so he has had a long history of heart problems. And so he told so his girlfriend who was out of town for the hospital, she was on her way to She talked to him prior in the day, and everything was fine. But then he called her about 6.30, I think it was, and said, hey, I'm starting to have chest pains, and I don't feel very good. I'm going to go to the ER. And then he also called his mom not too long after that and said, hey, mom, can you meet me at the ER? And then the mom showed up, and it was like 7.20 then, and she's never, he never showed up. In the p.m.? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, at 6, between 6 and 7 p.m., I feel, I, I just think maybe, maybe you're wrong, but I think someone driving there, like, it was like pretty busy. Yeah, it's pretty busy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's got to be this guy. You were the initial reporting officer. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I tried to get a hold of Alex Broken. Yeah. Hey, so th- these guys, they they had been they had been talking to him. Yeah, they said they uh, I talked to them over. Okay. So they came in today. And said that they're gonna be over here. So they're at they're you guys have anything better to do they, they, they say their their story is that they rich. They specialize. What's out here? That they're slaughter oh, I know it's a car. I'm, I'm praying to God it's not a car. So there is a fountain out there. I just want to make sure that they know. What? Missouri, Illinois, Wisconsin. Where's my boat? They just and stuff. So. you So, so have you, has the family been in regular touch? Uh, so I get a little heads up, you know, so security, in case, in case I can want to know what I'm going to do these guys. Takes them a long time to get suited up. <laughs> so, I don't know if there. Like, like, you think if you would have went off this little bank, I mean, you would be like rocks would be disturbed. I am, at least all this I am time. not convinced in the slightest. They've got, they've got their tire tracks down there, coming from like down that way. That they think. Uh, where's the car supposed to be at? Over there. Uh, <laughs> It, I would say somewhere like out, <laughs> out in the middle. <laughs> really? Yeah. Because, wow. yeah. Maybe somewhere out. <laughs> about 15 feet out there. Oh, well, there's a broken windshield. <laughs> no, that was, that was a marker. <laughs> Sergeant's leave though, right? Hmm? Didn't was life a sergeant when he left, or was he? About I think to be he promoted? was next. He was a, yeah, he was about to be promoted, and he decided to leave. Where'd he go? Was it uh, Troy? 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 Yeah. Troy. I always think it's uh, Highland, but it's Troy. I didn't. I don't know. So he came from. So you were a cop in Lincoln, Nebraska? No, I, I way out the Boone Six, man. Oh, okay, a small town. Lincoln my, was two and a half hours from me. Okay, yeah. Lincoln, Illinois. Nebraska. Oh, Lincoln, Nebraska. My cousin lives near Offutt Air Force Base. Okay. He retired from the Air Force. Um, and, uh, what is it? Papillion? Is where he goes. Yeah. 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 I actually tested him. Thank hey, goodness we're not on the time, Coach. You must not die, do you? <laughs> Take a long time. 
Probably these it guys want to do this at night. It takes a minute. Did they just figure this out? Yeah, apparently. Yeah. And these guys are apparently like on a YouTube channel or something like that. Right before about it. You're not making me feel any better about this. <laughs> I think they're setting up their cameras. This must be what's taking yeah. them so long. What they, what they do is they take missing Perfect. persons complaints that are unexplained and they kind of start back tracing them. You're doing a little more than what we do since we just take it and leave yeah. it at And anytime it goes anywhere near a body of water, they start checking all the water ways. And they oh, and tell me, Tim Clarkson, that that Doug kid was the best candidate that we, that Doug, that instructor that didn't have anything to do with any of that. I didn't look at any applications. I didn't ask anybody because I didn't want to have to answer any questions. Didn't you apply? This is my CEO. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying this is a foul. This is a small operation. What could your CEO possibly be mad about if we have a possible dead body? Exactly. exactly. We're verifying it's not a dead body. Just kidding. I don't think anyone gets any say in this. They should set up a fence if they didn't want to send it. Yeah. 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 I guess in theory we yeah. could have to apply for a search warrant in theory, but. Exigent circumstances. Is it though? I mean, it's not the, it's not the exigency of him being alive. Let's look about the search and seizure warrant, mm -hmm. the search and seizure after. So the exigency is on there. I mean, the only thing you can maybe go off of is. A felonious crime involving the vehicle, and then the vehicle has the opportunity to get a vehicle exemption out of there, and then we have to go get the vehicle. That would maybe be about yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else, we just have to secure the scene and get a search warrant for it. That's the vehicle exemption. Yeah, that's about And I don't think we'd pull that one off. <laughs> I think the vehicle has to be mobile at that point, or able to be mobile at that point. Here we go. To have a bonfire out here to stand by with you guys? Well, that's your call. Hey, hey Tim. Tim. I've seen an underwater rescue Facebook post before. Oh, oh that's not that's us. That's not part of our. I thought it was on that feet. I can't see. I swear. I swear. 
Maybe not underwater. Maybe I was trying to help them out. Uh, floating on the water. I, I ain't got a dry suit, so I'm not going in. I'm not going. <laughs> Two things float. Is that two, two fountains? Yeah, there's two of them out there. I thought I only had one. That's a girl police. I don't know. Well, there's one there, there, then there's another one right there. There's something on the Swim. They're not out there very far. They're just hanging out. I think they're standing on top of it. Make sure all their stuff's on. They're making sure the YouTube channel's on. That's what they're yeah. making sure. They got this live stream. Yeah. Hooking up to the satellite. <laughs> they're dealing with that dead spot we always deal with here on Regency Park.
I'd say to say that there's a car plus three hundred. Three hundred to one? Plus three hundred. No shit. So don't ask me what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know that enough. <laughs> but it's not it's uh not I would say about eighty percent chance. No. I'm thinking no. I'm hoping there is just a bit. This is making it complex on a couple, but other than that, other than that, I really don't care. <laughs> we can get out of here some good cat notes if no. Absolutely. Who just wants the guy to go? Stand over there with Ben. Oh. Man, Friday or Thursday. <laughs> I've never seen a day like Thursday. We had four hit and run crashes. No shit. Four. In one night. Was it crappy weather again? No. No, I was dead. It's just fine. You were a traffic car, too. Yeah, I was. <laughs> I ended up two of them. Shallow spot. Uh -huh. I'm saying a shallow yeah. spot. Sort of shady. Maybe some rocks shining in the sun. I mean, I don't know if there are any rocks out that far. But... Walmart shopping cart. Just like that, they're going to... dirty that water is underneath there. It's all the shit out of Misty Valley. It's not coming, I'll tell you that. Misty Valley.
I just can't imagine that being a good sign. I can't imagine that being a good sign. I think he said it's a car. Think so? I think that's what he just yelled at. I'm gonna go ahead and take that part away real quick. Roger chain quick. Roger chain you quick. Hey, we're gonna be here already, okay? So this could be easy for us. Ah. Tim? Are they calling their dive team now? So what do they got to do? Just put a, put a winch on it and winch it out? They'll dive down there and winch in the right spot. And then we'll probably do a trip. I got to get across the stairs. <laughs> so was it intentional or did you have a heart attack? I'm, and I'm sure it's a heart attack. What are the odds of that? I hope we're at lunch. <laughs> I, I, thought I, him. I would have told you all lunch. I was going to say. Thank goodness I didn't bet. <laughs> okay, now I'm good. Now I'm good. Hi. How are you? Hey. Just so you know, um, there is a car with a body. Um, but Swanson's so car. We're going to put a cut in the house. Do you think that we can put a cut in the house? in the driver's seat. Oh really? Is it was it just right over there just like it's that? It's right where they're at. I don't know if we know what car it is yet. What'd they say, Ben? They said it's the, it's the car. <laughs> he's, he's in the driver's seat. It is the right car, though? It is the correct car with the, I don't know how. I mean, he's probably pretty well preserved. He's pretty cold in there. Yeah. What's but, he say? Yeah. That's what it said. It's a mic operation. I'm pretty sure. I, <laughs> senior ranking I would. <laughs> 
Because quite frankly, this is a very easy swarm. I trusted Brad when he called me and he said they need to review this and I'm in Columbia and I said go do it. How deep is it out there in that spot? I don't know. They might be standing there. Ah, it can't be at the carpenter water. How long has this been? Is it 13? So did you get a hold of somebody from Swansea? The Swansea, all, the Swansea sergeant's here, so he's making phone calls. He's, okay. got, he's, got, their, he's got their team detectives and their dive people. Around. So I mean, quite frankly, if we're going to... So they've got everything covered here? That's what I'm... Okay. If we're going we're to let them handle it, they want to handle it that way. We just do a search for their agency while we came out here. I mean, it's their investigation. It's their investigation. Yeah, as long as it's their person. Yeah. So. Yeah. I, well, they, that was a thing we wouldn't know at first until. Hey, there's Brad. <laughs> you talk to him, Ben? All right, let me make a phone call real quick. All right, Pat was calling me. Do you want me to? I'll call Pat. All right. No reason to make a mountain out of a hole out of this. <laughs> no reason. I'm going to try to make Pat. Side of it, probably however far. Okay. The picture. Car spacing that way. Car spacing uh, that way. This way. The front is. Uh, every window's rolled up except for this. It's cracked this much. You got a work shirt on. The logo. This is the picture. And his hands are just up here like this. So, and the car. I, mean, I didn't really like do a visual of the car. You know, around it once. That was it. And I'm comfortable with the in there. And it's just just one person though. Uh, I didn't see anybody else, but whenever you guys want us to, however you guys want to do it. Uh, no, I have a dive team here, uh, dive team from around. Yeah, no. okay. Yeah, okay. So, uh, if they don't want to get out of bed, we can bring them in. Did you guys just uh, have this hunch on your own? Uh, honestly, I'm great at diving, but he does all the investigation. Yeah, I mean, honestly. I'm not really good at it. I'm just looking at How long did you guys, uh, how long did you guys, okay. when did you fly the drone? Was that today? Yeah, yeah this was earlier, like, right so before, got before I called you guys. Okay, and then that's why we're doing it now. Okay. Yeah, so, so Swansea's, we have a, uh, it's a county dive, so Swansea's got some the They're, they're already trying to spin out, coming out this way, but they said they can do it, whatever. It's, whatever you it's, have it's all up to y'all. We're here if you need us. We're, be out of the way if you don't. So, so, so well. You guys got your name in the police report? Yeah. Yes. So, I'll keep on the good side it. this time. Yeah, because it it's here. cold. And so how far out is it? We're probably um, you're looking at about it. probably 20 yards out, or it's about 10 yeah. yards out. It's about so, 30, 35, 40 feet. I'll get one of our soldiers to get here to help you. How deep, how, how deep is it out there? Where the car's at? Hell, he was standing on it. Nah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say that the deepest point in there's only about 10. Yeah, I mean, it's probably sitting in 10, 11 foot of water. This is showing that close to it. It's a little off. See where the top one is, the marker? Yeah. So probably about 10 foot. I went a little further, my shit quit. Blowing. Thanks you guys for coming out, out, out and believing us. Yeah, it, was just a drone, it was just a drone shot. And we were talking, like, do we just I dive like, that it? That is a car, man. That is a car. Did you see, uh, 
Uh, this is by random, you just checking No, no, we we go around different states, different towns, looking for missing people. I've got about 60 cases in my in his car. Yeah. Well, we heard it was he was picking up his mother. Honestly, the detective Swansea helped a lot. He did because he gave us the road that he lived on, not the physical address. We don't want that because the house gets broken okay. down. Yeah, you ain't coming after us. But anyway, we got the road that he lived on, and then we followed from GPS from that road to here. No waterways. Well, we had a feeling today that there possibly could be a car in here, but I didn't think it would be him. Yeah. Not by looking at that. So Man, which, which, which way is the car worrying? You know, it's facing facing like that, that way. Like that Sorry, indication yeah. see any drag marks? Yeah. It could be at an angle a little bit, but it's facing the north. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I did talk to Ashley, uh, his, his daughter, and she kind of gave me a little bit of information to kind of go on uh, about what the time frame was as far as him leaving the house and getting here. So. Right at dark time. Okay. All right. Uh, so they didn't contact you, though. You guys? No, we. You, you I guys contacted them. Okay. Yes. That was a couple of. No, no, what we we do. There's a lot of things. That's right. I tried to explain it to them once already, but they're like, "How did? Which way was yeah. it again?" Oh, like I haven't talked to these guys enough yet. We are dumbasses that stay away from our families for yeah, it's been days on money. end yeah. to come out and do this. Hey, you know, <laughs> but you know what? Look, I'll but tell you what. Look at what you guys have done. Yeah, we don't make a whole lot of money, so. Right. But you, this counts as one of your dives and all that. But oh, yeah. 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 Well, let me go see which one the fire department is. You want to see the fire department? They're, they're all, there's too many heads. I'm trying to keep my head out of it too much. Let me go see what the hell they're doing. And then I appreciate you guys being here. We'll let you know what's going on. All right. I know this one's a fire chief. I have you guys my shit off. I have you guys IDs, so if you want to okay. get all your stuff back, I'll get everything back to you. I got your names. Uh, is your addresses on your IDs? Yes, my sure. Yeah. All right, I got your phone numbers. Uh, There'll be a police report and stuff, and then all this stuff. Uh, yeah. Swansea might get it from you. Otherwise, I can just give it to them. But I'm sure. Yeah, so, I uh, think Detective uh, I'm Wilkin sure somebody will take it over. I'm sure somebody will be contacting you via phone or something yeah. like that yeah. in the next day or two. Or so. It's fine. I and hope then, that it's, there's a camera, a footage or something that shows yeah, it. Yeah, I don't think there is. So that's because I think we've already kind of checked. But we can go in there and be. So there should be right sure. there by that Well, door. so the, the supervisor of the hospital is actually out here. How is it? I'm going to get this heavy something to talk. All right, good work, guys. I'm going to lay my... Well, I wasn't saying I'm going to lay my stuff out here. Well, I think the other dive team is going to be Goes right with my sports betting. I'm always wrong. The betting's just not my game. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned here. I got a question for you guys. Y'all know we're YouTubers. Can we get footage? We will not get footage of him at all. Y'all want to? Y'all want to plastic so, it off uh, as it's getting pulled out, loaded, all that kind of stuff? That's gonna be a question for supervisor. Okay. That's an answer. Much higher pay. I mean, than mine. so I mean, can we get a picture of the guys? Uh, no. No, no pictures at this time. <laughs> I didn't mean like. <laughs> they probably get picked on way fucking too much That's by true. YouTubers. I don't see why. Y'all are, are good guys. So at the end of the day, like right now, I mean, we're working it. It is a probably a, yeah. Yeah. it's a, you know, it's someone's someone's family member here. So.
Well, Here's the thing. You can't. It is private property, I guess, to some extent, but you can't really stop them from filming. I know. I mean, I don't think you can. I mean, if they're asking you, though, that's a no. You know, I mean, they ain't going to want this on YouTube. No, you can't film, but if I don't see you filming, I can't tell you no. Right. Well, I mean, I can't stop you. But, yeah. Yeah. It's like a you see an old come out here and film this. Are they out here yet? They will be probably after the radio trailer. Yeah. To, uh, I think we should shut down roadway yet. We'll see how the tow is going to do this. We'll have to shut down the tow gets here. But... Oh, we need the diver first. <laughs> oh, geez. Tell you what, thank gosh it's not any colder. But at the same time, if it was colder, I would have dressed a little warmer. Yeah. I didn't wear base layers today. It's not supposed to get colder than 40 tonight. That wind's cutting right through. PJ says no shot. I'm I, I, haven't started PJ's sweating. I haven't started shaking yet. Hey, I'm gonna put your IDs back in the in the front seat. Is that good? Yeah, I just said it. are pretty well. I mean, we're not a bet man today, but... <laughs>
who's your detective coming in? Wilkins. Okay. Because Gary got promoted out of there, right? So. I guess you'll pull a case number for an assist other agency. For what you have up to the point that our detectives get here. Okay. I got it. Okay. Yeah, it's car. Well, uh, now, but I'll get it from you. Because I got it. But Sue, since you're calling people, you don't want me to make any more notifications, right? Okay, good. <laughs> just, to, just to make sure. <laughs> <laughs> It's like 66 is in charge, we all leave. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Until Pat gets here. Right? <laughs> Pat and the truck can hang out. You guys can do some push-ups while you guys are waiting for a guy to drive. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Got the uh, gym to myself today with yeah. the staff meeting going on. Nobody. I bet so. I bet it was nice. I got nice. my, didn't have to listen to the hip-hop barbecue. First off, hip-hop barbecue <laughs> is the best workout station we have. Okay? <laughs> JP wasn't in there too. With three quarters of the roadway blocked. Stop in early. Yeah, I was in there like three thirty. Oh, I just missed you then because I went in there. I, I got out. Yeah, I got out of the gym at two forty. Oh my god, it's gonna be staff meeting time here in about twenty minutes. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering where you were in there. I didn't yeah. Staff meeting. What time did you go in there, Nick? Got in there around four thirty. Sat around for a little bit. Scrolled Facebook. Me? Yeah. Some in my truck or what? No, in the, in the gym. You sit in there and do. No, I'm not too bad. I'm really glad there's a vehicle in here because Plankton was all sorts of worked up there for a while. So. <laughs> all you fucking doubters. I, listen, I was I was okay with either way. Like either way, they're gonna find something. These guys know what they're doing. So. They call.
writing down, you know, he was supposed to be here, there, uh, contacted Ashley, the daughter, and she told me pretty much, you know, he was coming here to pick his grandmother, pick her grandmother up. And, uh, Thank you guys. You want me to go Sounds good. But I'll be back. So I did a Google Maps, you know, from Sean C. We didn't actually know where he lived or even a street. So I talked to him earlier. Detective. Detective Wilkins. No S. Anyway, we went a different route. Oh, yeah. The other three times. Because it took when we found out what his. Uh, I think, what's your last name? Yeah,
It's cold. I don't know if you get it like wet. Oh, oh stuff, bro, like, our dry so suits are not supposed to leak, but they're really old, and they have like little hole pin holes, so it trickles in, and then it just kind of goes in different spots, so my feet are wet. So Trey yes. and Ronnie, right? Yep. Okay. So, uh, what time did you guys get on St. Elizabeth's property today? Um, this morning, it was about 10 o'clock. Um, we started over on the, what is that, the east side? Yeah, I think that's east. Pond? And, and were you then, getting in the water, or were you just flying the no, drone? Or? No, we just it, none of it. We, we just walked the pond. Yeah. Just looking for tracks to go in the water. You know, stuff that's mowed over. Uh, kind of signs of a vehicle going in the water or passing through there. Uh, didn't find nothing over at that one. Mm -hmm. We come over here. Found some tracks on this side of that tree. Which looked old, so we just kind of dismissed it, figuring you know somebody might have already pulled one out or you know whatever it was summer it, or it something. Looked partial, like when we first seen it, it's like you can kind of see like I'm like, is it two separate trails where people were walking, or is it tire you know tire <laughs> marks? And then we're like, it's a car. Why wouldn't the middle be kind of like wiped out? So we've seen that, and then he noticed the, uh, the tire mark Concrete the broke over there in the uh, tire mark. That's kind of an indicator that a car went and jumped that. And then the rocks at the bottom, certain, like certain ones were kind of like broke. But the way the tracks looked were like, they just didn't look fresh. It didn't look like it would have been this guy. And then we moved, we, then we moved on to the other one. Got the over big there. one back there? Yeah. The big one behind, or in front of the... Oh, it's good. Then looked around it, didn't see anything. So then we went to the Catholic. Uh, it's Catholic Church on Lebanon or Le 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 Lebanon. Lebanon, yeah. Lebanon Road. Went over there to the Catholic Church, walked it. And what, what was the significance between the Catholic Church? The, uh, there's the a route. pond right on the road. I know, but what was the significance of the, uh, the missing person in the Catholic Church? The route that you probably took. Yeah, yeah there's three so different routes. Because you got that from the well, Swansea? Well, no, that was before we, that. We, we just, just put in Swansea. Swansea, Illinois. So we went to where it showed Swansea, Illinois, and then branched out from there. Three different routes to get here. Today? All that today? All that today. Okay. Uh, we've been back and forth there like three times. Okay. But... Uh, Anyway, so we went all three routes, and then I said, screw it, let's go talk to the detective that's on this case. See if he will give us any information, or we can give him information that we've already searched, you know, and what we've done. So, went over to the Swansea Police Department, talked to uh, Detective Wilkin, and uh, give him our information and what we've searched and all that, and I told him that it would be helpful if we had a road and like a block number that you know David lived on, not necessarily a physical address, just we don't want that. Yeah, just an idea of where to start. Just a general area, <laughs> just a general general road that we can take and GPS from there to here, where he was last supposed to be. Just to get her out. Just yeah. to get her out. So it gave us a whole new route. So then we took that route, come over here, come back to this because it was still in the back of our minds that this is something, regardless if it was new or old, but it's still something. So you saw the um, tire tracks, but you didn't see in, the, in between the tire yeah, tracks. There's it nothing looked in between. Yeah, and I'm like, it doesn't up. make any yes. sense. <laughs> yeah. So it didn't really, it didn't click to be. I mean, you step on this. Yeah, and it stays down. You know, like when people have walked through, like this, the right? path stays down. That's what it didn't make sense. Thanks for coming out. All right, Take no care. problem. Appreciate you guys. But uh, anyway, it didn't look like a vehicle had passed through there, you know, January 11th, 12th, 13th. So it, it just kind of stayed in the back of the mind. Just, you know, should we dig into this a little further? So that's what we did. We come back over here. We dug into it a little further. He flew his drone. Know, put a ways up in there just so you can see down in the water and spotted the view. You know what time was that? That was around 5.15ish. So you came out here earlier, you walked it? Yep. Yeah. Didn't fly the drone? No. Didn't fly the drone. So, okay. And so you guys were 
you thought there was a chance, but you didn't think a high probability or yeah, something right. like that. And we knew it was private property, and we're like, the only thing we can do legally is fly the drone up. And, and just, the wind was blowing a lot harder than this around 5 o'clock, so I'm not sure the drone would have stayed in there anyway. So you flew the drone up to get that <laughs> video that you showed me? Yeah. yeah. And then you thought, hey, it's worth maybe checking out? Yeah. And that's that when you called us? Yeah. Um, well, we called, called the... Uh, Swansea first. Yeah, I called Swansea was, to try to get a hold of Detective uh, Wilkin, and then their dispatch said, if you think it's something significant, go ahead and call the O'Fallon okay. Police Department. So that's what I did, hung okay. up with him, called with you guys. Yeah. Right. So how did you get the information about this? Okay, so I've got probably about 60 cases in my truck. We go through NamUs. We go through Facebook, and we go through private messaging from family members that contact us to go out and look for their loved ones. Generally in water? Generally in water. Okay. If they're missing a vehicle, we're looking in water. <laughs> okay, so uh, generally in water. And then, uh, so in this case, you found out about this through which method? Uh, through Facebook. A lot of the information comes from Facebook. Okay. Have you made contact with his family at all? Yes, I talked to his daughter, Ashley, and uh, she kind of gave me a little bit of information. She said that her, his dad, her dad was kind of private, so she didn't know where he worked. Somebody on Facebook told me where he worked, but we kind of veered off of that, went and talked to the detective. And then that's how we okay, came out. So that's here. about it, Ashley, just the yep. daughter? Yeah. Okay. And then, but you guys came out here on your own or anything? Yeah, no yeah. one's paying you? No, no one's paying us anything. anything like that? Nope. We do this solely then, off of donations. Do you guys work together? Uh, we just started we just working started. together. Okay. For that company whose business card you had? No. no. That's, I no. have a YouTube channel. That's our YouTube channel. That's the YouTube channel? called Brothers yeah. Underwater Recovery. All on my own. Okay. I have all my own equipment. Everything. He's got his own equipment yes. and his own YouTube channel. Okay, so you guys just kind of met up to yep. do this together. Yep. Do you guys have like a company or you guys self? No, it's just YouTube, like it's just us. Like I'm me, he's him. And you guys we're just met, YouTube up, met up for this? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're actually working on two other cases in Union, Kentucky. Union County, Kentucky. Uh, Edward Tidwell, been missing since 1985. And then uh, James Michael Mills has been missing since uh, 06. So, and then I've got about 60 cases in my, or in his Jeep that we're actually looking at and working on. Okay. It's a lot of work to do by yourself. So. It is. And so you did a lot of the investigative work and then uh, he kind of hit you up to dive maybe or to, to go yeah. out here today? To come out here with me and yeah. look. Okay. Have you guys worked together before? Or is it, in, uh, kind of the first day. No, 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 no. We worked together like weeks ago. Okay. Okay. <laughs> this ain't the first day we right. worked together. It's really a safety thing. Well, did they call you out here? Yeah. Uh, I guess you know. Did they tell you? Yeah, I guess the guys started looking for him. I guess these guys are just kind of self-employed and kind of pick this up on their leisure time. I guess uh, they had heard. How'd you find out that he was on his way to St. Elizabeth's? Uh, from Facebook and the daughter. From the daughter? Well, I guess he found out there's this missing guy from Swansea. Yeah. So you guys, you guys talked to the family then a little bit? I talked to the daughter, yeah. A little bit. This or I've just worked it tonight. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's that's y'all's job. Where's the part? Uh, so if you can see that white tree over there, yeah, it's about midway, back this way. Oh, so between that buoy and then here. Yep. Uh, tree right there. Yeah. On this side of it. Where we got it. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Warm now, that looks too nice to be out here. 